generally I'm, I'm really excited you know like if i were to say what's the biggest selling point for me that would be definitely simlinks uh because that just makes my development easier but um i guess you know jokes aside that's 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 not the primary reason why uh somebody should be choosing repack over metro <laughs> actually in the readme of the project that i have checked uh you know beforehand uh, you explicitly say that it, it is targeted at you know advanced developers, and um, that said, I'm curious what are these scenarios that make using your library a no-brainer? Um, and I guess we are talking about something a bit more advanced than just um, than just what I said, right? Yeah. So uh, let's start with 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 the basics. So. Uh, one of the use cases that Webpacks really shines in are projects that have complex or unconventional project structure. So uh, one of the example is having Git sub modules or, or simlinks, like you mentioned. Those, those are the cases when uh, it's, it might be not possible to, to bundle your application properly with Metro, but with Webpack, it is possible to configure it to properly resolve all of the source files, all of the dependencies, regardless where they are. So that's one one group of the uh, of the projects that would benefit from Repack. Another one uh, are the applications that itself could benefit from code splitting. Uh, so we 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 have a lot of applications that could benefit from it. Uh, few examples are modular applications. When you have a logic that uh, you don't want to ship to all of the users, but you want to load them on demand, for example, for only specific uh, group of users based on some factors that you detect in the runtime, let's say user subscriptions plan, right? Uh, one, one, another, uh, example of applications are uh, so-called super apps when you have one big application that consists of multiple uh, smaller apps and you don't let's say you have a super app that includes 50 mini apps you don't want to ship all of the mini apps to the end user you want to ship the the least amount possible and download the rest on demand if the user wants to use that app um and in general all of the applications that uh that wants to download uh the the code or extend functionality in runtime on demand uh another option is some kind of uh text processor when based on the language you write you detect what language the user is using and then you want to download some code for uh, analytics or on some AI based for that specific language. Yeah, 